Potter's Journal, I've been summoned down to the weaver's house. I hope it's not to look at a cane chair. Oh! It looks like a gallery show. Okay, there she is. <laughs> oh, what is this all about? I wanted to show you the new piece I'm working on. Oh, wow. What is that? Like buttons. Are those... <laughs> My excess buttons. Are those buttons in there? Yeah, I like the way it moves. Oh, wow. Well, this is a new direction. I've never seen anything like this. Just like when you first did the, what are these baskets called? Well, I call them my tycoons, and they're woven with neckties. And they're my signature uh, basket uh, for the um, okay, for very the random woven. Very uh, sculptural. I started them in about the 80s. I never, actually somebody, when I bought my first loom, I got a box of neckties with it. And so then I decided to keep, make some kind of use out of them. So I... Okay, that. so that was the start of the random, your random weave art pieces. And very sculptural, even the way the flow of the, it seems like the part that is not ties, underneath there is very sculptural and directional. Now it looks like there are two parts to this basket. The ties and what's the under part? Yeah, this is reed. I do them with reed. And I make the uh, form. This one's like a flat. Okay, so that's like a frame. Yeah, and then I decide what I'm going to put on top of it. Okay. Well, that would be nice to see. You actually make the frame for what goes on it later. Let's catch up with the weaver again. Let's see what's going on in her studio today. <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm going to make a random basket. Oh, Only okay. What's a random basket? You mean a fr you make a f random weave frame and then yeah. put something on it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to use neckties. Oh, neckties? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that a traditional um, um, folk art craft or what? What's this it's over here? With me. I, okay, I, what, what's this on the pink? That's a little basket I just finished. Okay. And, um, and, and that is just and a you're basket. On my and, that, and that is just a basket basket. Yeah. Okay. It's a more traditional yeah. shape. Of okay. But kind. blue, I see what you make your own handles. Yeah. Or what do you call that? A frame. Yeah, I do make okay. my own handles, which is a lot of times people don't. Okay, well, I can't wait to see this, what do you call it, random tie weave. Okay, well, we'll stop back to the weaver's studio. So that frame is a reed, and you use found materials, and you ever use <laughs> natural that you well, find in the woods? There's bark. In that one back there. Uh, okay, well, this one is, is the first one I remember seeing, and this is the one that was always my favorite because I didn't know if it was a container or a piece of sculpture. And I still see this more as a piece of sculpture than a container or a vessel or a basket. Well, one thing I like about a container or a vessel or a basket like form or you know open Th that's why I have the open mouth in this one you could see the inside of the bark which I if you notice is a pretty color where the outside of the bark is rough now I don't even know what kind of tree this was it was a, in my opinion a scrap tree in my yard I live in the woods Okay, so you cut down a tree and strip the bark off uh, of it? Actually, I don't cut it down. I strip the bark off of it while it's standing. It will kill the tree, which, is, like I said, they are trash trees, uh, nuisance trees. Uh, 
but and you have to do it at a certain time of the year but um, that's why I like the open container though because of the inside being so nice a color and then the outside is rough and I, this one I mixed with ties also this one was called farm to office okay so this was juried into a show yes that other one was too and actually the zipper basket was also and these and frames are side. all very different that's a very open form and vessel these are closed and we've got this thing okay so maybe we'll look some more at how you did the frame part So you started with the ties and the natural stuff, and now you seem to be going every way. Yeah, I had to get rid of some zippers some way. I had an overabundant supply of them, too. And here we've got... Yeah, that's just wire, but I'll tell you what, I had a lot of work stripping that out of a uh, cable. <laughs> okay. It was more trouble getting the wire than it was... Uh, and now the buttons. Hold it up. So shake the buttons again. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to figure out how they move a little more. Of course, you have to shake it to get them to move. But. So those are all random weaves, but you also do what? A oh, rib baskets. Uh, okay. I kind of this is kind of a signature too, in a way. It's a triple woven basket. I pride myself in the uh, fact that my baskets are very strong. 
Well, that sounds like a whole nother video. We will have to stop back and see the pot of Weaver's rib baskets in the next video. <laughs> okay. Take out some of my material that's just holding it in place. And I can see better where there's bigger holes that need filled in. Kind of the size I want. And I'm just about done with this.